Hello, Nico2064 here, back with another review. And today I'm going to review Lego Spider-Man Far From Home, Stark Jet, and the Drone Attack. This is set 76130, has um, 504 pieces, and retails for $70 in the United States. So, let's get into this. So here's the Spider-Man Homecoming suit, uh, which of course should have been the red and black suit, but uh, I'm probably not the first one to say that. But, you know, nothing new. Um, but it's always nice to get the head for comic book Spidey, in my opinion. Uh, it's great arm printing and stuff. Uh, but, yeah, it really should have been the red and black suit. But uh, I did actually do a video on how to make that. But you can go check that out. Um, now onto the next figure. Here's Mysterio. Same as all the three sets. But still, uh, pretty good. Of course, he's missing that gold on the torso. But... Um, yeah, I wish we would have gotten him unmasked or in his CGI suit in this one. Uh, but this is cool too. You can see that. Uh, and then, uh, underneath it just has a silver head. Uh, but, yeah, still pretty cool. Any figure of the year. No, but seriously, here's Happy, uh, with the best gun and the worst face and hair. Um, honestly, I don't think the face works, uh, or I don't think the face is as bad as people say it is. Of course, it doesn't have his beard, but for, like, Spider-Man Homecoming, uh, Happy, it's really just the hair that's messed up. It's, I mean, this is kind of his face when he doesn't have that beard, but, yeah, the suit's great. You know, we get it more and off, more and more often now, um, and the back face is just angry, um, but the hair just ruins it. I think the hair and face combined is what ruins this figure, but, yeah, he has the better gun. I'll show you Nick Fury's now. And Nick Fury is definitely the best figure of the set. Uh, even though his legs aren't exclusive, uh, the torso and head are. Um, it always bugged me with the Nick Fury figures that they didn't have the uh, strap going around the side of the head. Um, I know it's just not how Lego printed uh, Lego printing is made, uh, but still. The gun, I really hope they're not trying to make this a real pistol. I hope this is just his tranquilizer gun, and then he let Happy hold his regular gun. Seriously. But the torso is great. Uh, back torso is pretty cool. Um, and, of course, no hairpiece or anything like that. Um, but, yeah, still, best minifigure of the set, and one of the best minifigures of the entire wave. Here are the drones. I think they're pretty accurate, even though they should have been white. Uh, I re really love them. I'm pretty sure you could build them in white if you wanted to. Uh, but you could see they have some stud shooters, which... Great. There goes that stud. In case you're wondering, yes, I just paused and, uh, found that stud on the floor. Um, but yeah, the guns on here are pretty cool. Uh, you could see they have some here, and one here for the binoculars. Um, and they do have this, um, stud on here. Um, just so you could have... Maybe some, someone stand on it, or Spider-Man's web attach, um, something like that. But still, it's pretty cool that we got these, um, even though they don't match up with the uh, museum one. I think these are more accurate. Here it is, the Stark Jet, which has been around for a very, very long time in the MCU. Uh, I think since, like, Iron Man, right? So, I think we better pay tribute, because it died. Okay, tribute over. Now let's get into this. Uh, there's this printed uh, cockpit piece um, connected with some pins, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, then uh, some stickered uh, windows, which I actually like these. Um, I guess they could have done something. Uh, like maybe how uh, the Spongebob sets used to have um, like a clear piece with a sticker over it. Uh, maybe they could have done that. Another stud shooter, which you know how that works. Um, then there's actually a Stark Industries sticker um, over here. Uh, and you can see that it's just on one of these uh, back pieces, I guess. A blue flame for the um, engine thrust or whatever. Uh, there's this nice little uh, build for the uh, winglets, I guess. Um, and you can see there's one angled upward, and one on the side. Okay, um, and they actually have this, uh, which is pretty nice, this little, um, part up. Sorry, I'm not feeling very well. But now let's get in the ship.
um, which you can see it folds all the way up so you have like access to the whole thing. Um, on the inside, there are some stickers um, with like two on the sides and one in the middle. Um, there's just some steps. Um, then there are two seats here, one for like uh, Nick Fury and probably one for Happy. Uh, back here is the um, station where you build the suit. Um, so I guess you could put the suit here. Um, should have been the red and black suit, but, you know, there's a sticker there, which is pretty cool. Um, then there's this web piece back here, which you actually attach to Spider-Man, but we'll get into that later. Um, there is, uh, there are two, uh, little jars of stuff. Um, this is probably from Stranger Things, but, um, there are two clips also, so you could put a gun there, um, or something. Uh, but let's get some minifigs in. Now let's start testing out some of these play features. Uh, so there's this little button on here. Um, okay, there, and you drop, uh, Peter so it can swing. Um, you see he's just attached to the web. Um, and then, if you rip that out, you can actually replace it with some of these bombs in the back. See, there are three, uh, three Fortnite chug jugs. Um, so you just take those out, put them in, then you can bomb the drone. And that is about it for the Stark Jet. Um, you can see there are a lot of nice details, it's very cool, uh, but I don't think it's worth 70 um, I actually bought it for, um, $58 at, um, Target, so I recommend getting it there instead. Uh, but now let's check out the box and stuff. Here's the box, it even has a $50 box size. Um, then on the back you can see, uh, play features, um, with the web and stuff. Um, how everyone fits in, the drop features and stuff, drones, um... On the side, you can see the Spider-Man art. And, uh, yeah. But the instructions, on the other hand, they're, like, enormous. Like, a 60 maybe $80 set. Um, but, of course, there's the, uh, advertisement, uh, for, um, Lego Life, which no one plays. And then Lego Marvel Superheroes 2, which I played. And then, um, uh, this pirate... From the Spongebob intro. Um, and yeah. So what do I think? Uh, I really like this set. Um, I think uh, the reviews that I've seen anyway. Have been a little negative on it. I actually pretty much um, love the set. Uh, but the price just weighs it down. Uh, with the lack lackluster minifigures I guess. Um, and somewhat inaccurate drones. Uh, I don't know. But there are little things I like, like this little black piece, or this little black area, I guess. Uh, and then this ball down here. Uh, just small stuff like that. It makes it a pretty cool and fun build to build. Um, but, you know, if you don't even have a Spider-Man set yet, I think this is probably, like, a good one to get. Um, I don't know. I recommend the, uh, Realtel Bridge still more. Uh, cause you get, uh, Spider-Man, uh, and Mysterio, and MJ, and Hydro-Man. But, I think this is a good one, too. Um, if you just wanted to get one set, um, maybe this would be it. But, I still think the Realtor Bridge is probably better. Um, but, yeah. Um, I give it a B-, minus, uh, just because I like the build, and, uh, the price is just too much. But, if you get it at Target, then I would probably bump it up to, like, a B plus or something. But, yeah, that's it. Nika 2064, signing off. <laughs>